my frustration with the neighborhood goes way beyond just the uh, just the rate thing. I think the rate thing is basically the camel that broke the straw's back with me. I, I have crackheads sitting on my step that I have to kick off my step in the morning. I got women trying to get their johns, you know, in the morning that I have to drag my kids through. Uh, and now I have to worry about a rapist and a strangler at that, you know, and it's just ridiculous. And they don't even have any leads on it. They don't have, nobody has any leads on it. I've been living here for like 10 years since I came from Puerto Rico. And um, in this neighborhood, Somerset's always been like this, rapists or um, kidnappers, like stuff like that, so. It's pretty concerning. You know, I don't want to walk home by myself because I get done at like 11.30, so it's kind of crazy and nobody wants to be out here. How long have you lived in the neighborhood? On and off for a couple years. And um, how is it different? You know, is there more police or people just... It's just more drama, more craziness, more, you know, the riffraff around, you know, when it goes to, you know, all the sound drugs. But this murder stuff, it's over the top. I've only been out here for two weeks. I'm originally from Jersey. And I, I used to get high in Camden. I used to do drugs in Camden. And they say Camden used to have the highest murder rate for its size for a couple years in a row. And I comparing this to that. I think it's terrible out here compared to Camden. Like, I've been through a lot in Camden, too. I've been attacked and stuff like that, but the, the, they're, like, ruthless out here. They don't care. They, it seems like they have no, like, conscience. And actually, it's a wake-up call to move out. Once I graduate nursing school and save up money, I'm out. I, I, I can't take Kensington no more.